his 16th season. Quite an incredible time, isn't it, to uh, be a coach of a side that long? And here's the side that he has out there for today. Some key players missing, McCurry through suspension, Buick still not quite over his knee injury from last year, and Shea Cocker to Collins, but uh, still a very experienced line up there for the Essendon side. And as Dennis has already mentioned, Peter Berbikoff, number 51, the addition to the side. Kevin Bartlett, one of the powers this season, do you think? I think that we're, we're going to see two of the uh, best sides in the competition today. You can hear the roar going up to the Tigers, have fantastic support right around Australia. And I think last year when the Tigers uh, made the finals for the first time since 1982, we, we just saw just how many Richmond supporters there are with the huge crowds they're able to uh, get here at the MCG. As Matthew Knight's there, keen to lead the side onto the field. Euphoric scenes uh, last time these two sides met with the Tigers coming from five goals down. And Johnny Norley was coached that day, so it's a whole new ball game just over summer. Quite amazing. Great banner too. Yes, I think these two sides will be very strong this season. In fact, trying to nominate. It's been a tipster's nightmare this year so far. Just looking at the evenness of the competition, but in a newspaper article this week, I think this could be perhaps a preview of the grand final. Who knows? A long way to go in this centenary year, but the Tigers are on the ground. As we take a look at their lineup, Terry. Well, one of the most important additions is the new coach, Robert Walls. Uh, this is his 309th game of AFL VFL coaching after terms at Fitzroy, Carlton, and the Brisbane Bears. And uh, it's a bit of a change in tact uh, that Robert Walls, perhaps more of a tactician, and John Northey, the motivator. And it'll be interesting to see whether Richmond can continue on the momentum from last year. So some key players missing, Wayne Campbell out from suspension from the final series last year. But as of in this particular case, no new faces into the Richmond lineup. So a very steady side. And plenty of size. First bounce at the MCG. Somerville goes up. Fell at their feet. Broderick to Knights. Away to Gale. And the Tigers attack. Down towards Harford. Narendra in front. Wanganeen. Great grab. Appeared out of position. Swings it out wide. Clever kick. Mercedes is at left half back. Goes down towards the wing. Hurt on a searching lead. Unkind bounce. This is Bond. Close to the boundary line. Bond the short one. With good effect, Daffy's got it. He's right on the wing. Nick Daffy. Down towards half forward. Richardson the target. Fingertips to it. Missed it. Gale waiting behind. This is Broderick about 70 metres out. Awkward one for Edwards on the half volley. Kept it going. Nicely done. Burke can't pick it up. Still he goes, Burke. Picked off. Sliding in down there was Doolan. Well done, Broderick again. Knights claim just inside the 50. Miranda went down. This is Tate. Wanganeen's got him over the top of Lassio. Broderick, he's been busy. And he was taken high. A sensational start by the Tigers. They've been very aggressive early. And he's set up here with some great physical work. In fact, Tate's got the free. Off the ball. Richardson the top. Trainer is down. Everything's happening. Richardson's got the ball. 40 metres out. Did very well there, Richardson. Just able to get the uh, couple of metres start on young Berbikov playing his first game. Uh, into the space on the outer side. Very good lead and an excellent kick. Will he be the comeback kid? Think back two seasons ago. Started with eight against Footscray on this ground. He'd love a repeat. It's close. Behind. I think we're looking at one of the superstars of the game there in young Richardson. Within two years, he'll be ranked alongside Wayne Carey as the best player in the game if he can remain fit. A lot of expectations with Matthew Richardson. That severe knee injury last year. So Fletcher kicks wide looking for Wanganeen. Already has taken a tremendous mark. Out wide to Doolan. He's got a panic. He can take a bounce. He's got a lead from Cummings further afield. It's into his territory. 
backing back is Charles, does well. Former Bulldog, sacked by Terry Wheeler. Thank you, Kevin. Broderick, halfback flank member side. So the Tigers, it's, this game has started as a furious pace, taken by Bullis, time to take a bounce, runs to the point of the square, Richardson a chance, but Berbikov, what a tough job for this youngster to play on Matthew Richardson. It is, Kevin, but a great degree of confidence that particular mark will give him. Knight's a half chance there from the Thompson kick, but is up again. Doolan's over the ball, is he holding it? Not according to the umpire. But it's ferocious in there. Peter Carey wants it. And some people said perhaps the Ansett Cup and the Lightning Premiership might have taken a little bit of edge away from the start of the season. No one's disappointed here at the moment. Gale across there with Thompson. Doolan quickly on the boot. Roderick, he's been everywhere so far. Close to the line, clever. Bond. Takes on Mercedes, gets by, beats another, right on the boundary line, centering kick, Hardwick in from the side, fists everywhere, Wangany, the crumbs comes away, miscues, shocking effort, Knights a half chance, tape from 40 metres, swings it onto the boot, and misses to the right. Very dangerous play there from Gavin Wanganine. He did very well to clear the ball, but right inside the danger zone, opened it up for the Tigers. The veteran Harvey, his kick around the corner has been marked by Nathan Bauer. Just outside 50. It's a very tall Richmond forward line. Richardson and also, and we see that Charles chipping in and taking the mark inside 50. Very well, uh, Justin, to date. Got back into defence to take the mark there before. Now forward is beginning with the first ruck the roll here today with Greg Deer starting on the bench. Very tall side, the Richmond lineup. Charles wanted to be a baseballer, but I think he might be a bit better playing AFL football. Just outside 50, the Tigers have been peppering the goals as this one just snuck in. It has. Justin Charles was a goal kicker at Footscray. He was. He, he did very well in some. It's been some five years at Footscray, 36 odd games. But um, this this really is his, his forte. Just to have that ability to be able to cover a lot of ground, run around. We've earlier seen him in defence take the mark. Now one in the forward line. Great effort by the uh, Williamstown baseballer. Still, Kevin. I know he's still a baseballer, but I think he's better at playing football. Tigers by seven points. Broderick slaps it forward. Got a whistle. Free kick is going to Somerville. Kicks it down towards half forward. Heard comes on a lead. There's step for step kill away. Charles, the goal kicker, boots it down towards the half forward line. Berbakov controlled it to his own advantage. Good recovery. This is Doolan on the outer side. Goes towards half forward Heard. Just forward of the wing. James Hurd, probing kick inside the 50, Cummings, loose ball behind Alessio, missed it, Cummings on top of it, could have been taken high, he's going to get the free, Bullis with the left arm, if we see it in replay, it slipped high initially, he can't believe it. It's always a tough call isn't it, but uh, Essendon were quite prepared and Cummings was down at ground level and quite clearly the uh, left arm of Paul Bullis over the shoulder, the umpire right on the spot. Have to be so careful tackling a man on the ground. Now Cummings. From about 25 metres out. The goal makes the margin a point. The Bombers will trail. The margin is six points. Poor miss there by Scott Cummings. Started his career in a blaze of glory, kicking eight goals in his first game of league footy. There has been some talk that he's been playing second fiddle to Paul Salmon, so he gets his chance now as a key forward. Bond. Maybe the designated kicker for the Tigers today. The point of the square. Bullis was his target, taken by Burke. Had some glandular fever over summer. Gets it out towards Nathan Bauer. Rockets a hand past the Prescott. So it's a long bomb. Miranda's there, so is Richardson. This bloke is a superstar. He read the flight of that ball perfectly, being able just to drop out of the back of the contest. His opponent, Berbakov, looking to do the right thing, play in front, but uh, 
really, he really got turned inside and out on that occasion and Richardson plenty of time, plenty of room. I'm surprised they've started with young Berbikoff playing on Richardson. I think uh, Dustin Fletcher would have been a far better first up option. So Richardson from 35 metres out has missed. Well, Richardson clearly has a height advantage over Berbikoff. Uh, additional experience. Dustin Fletcher now doing the kick in should perhaps be the next player to take Richardson. So Fletcher goes short to Bomber Thompson. Judy talked him into playing again this year. Gives it across to Pryor. From half-back flank, looks for Hardwick. Burke applied the pressure. Broderick's been very good. Goes short. Matthew Knights. Dual best and first winner for the Tigers. Fantastic in the finals against Essendon last year. When he got the Tigers back into the game, which they eventually won after being five goals down. So it's a long bomb for the high flyers. At the back there, Miranda. Thought he had it to Daffy. Leading goal kicker for the Tigers last year. Screws it around. It's a mark. Richardson. What a great kick. It's certainly the place you've got to kick them. Just to the top of the square. And when it's a set plan, when everybody knows that it's on, certainly the team in the forward uh, attacking part have the advantage. On this occasion, Miranda, very quick hands. Daffy hemmed in. Just tosses up. Good degree of height too. So Richardson, third time lucky. Kicks his first, and the Tigers second. So I would expect to see Brian Wood, the Essendon runner, heading down towards fullback shortly to make the move there. Uh, as you can see there on the screen, the, the height advantage that Richardson has, and again, it's clearly evident on that occasion. No matter what young Berbikov does to get in front, he's always going to be outreached in this contest. Tigers by 13 points in the story of the game so far. The influence of Matthew Richardson, one goal, two, could have had three goals in the opening minutes of this game. The opening minutes of the centenary season, Broderick, he's been terrific to take. Party's up nicely and digs it out of the middle towards half forward. Thompson with poise. Berbikov on the overlap. Kicks it down towards half forward. In front is Hurt. Right grab. Timed his leap to perfection. Hurt 55 metres out. Goes for distance. Massive kick. Magnificent oh. kick. Well, the umpire's gone across and he's penalising him, is he? The umpire is talking to Hurd. And the ball is coming to Kellaway. And I've got absolutely no idea. Brett Allen indicating who was holding on. But I don't know who was holding on to who out there. More particularly was holding on to Kellaway. Thompson, meantime, kicks towards centre-half forward, off hands. Rogers spends a lot of time on the ground. O'Connor brilliantly done to Alessio. They get the goal anyway. None of the loss over what happened before. Yes, certainly, yeah. You saw the umpire indicating the holding. Uh, yes. Kevin, I didn't see it. No. You did, but the umpire was very, very clear. In, in actual fact, perhaps Australia being 50 metres against James Hurst for kicking the ball away, but the ball did rebound in the Essen fall, and good play there by O'Connor just to keep the ball alive. Flicked it out, and Alessio, a man of some six foot five inches, doing the roving and goaling. He didn't pin him for that, did he? Oh, he couldn't have. I don't think so. So here's, her, I mean, a heck of a kick. Tigers, Tigers by seven points, Bauer takes it out of the centre square, Miranda nearly took the mark, Wanganen applies the pressure, Miranda, quick snap into the goal square, Harvey couldn't take it, Gale goes to ground, Essendon forces it through through prior, good defensive play. Miranda's looked pretty lively down there as well. He has been quite prepared to get in there amongst it uh, and had a couple of jumps as well, Kevin. Fletcher has the loose man wide, Ben Doolan. Been big raps on Ben. He's had a few injuries since crossing from the Sydney Swans. Goes wide, finds the skipper in O'Donnell. Plays on quickly. Gets the ball across. This is Danaher. Inside 50. Big Charles once more backing back takes it. So the Tigers with some rebound football. They're clean. They've got plenty of options. Gives it across to Rogers. Brings it across the members' flank. Take does the support work. So Rogers, who's very quick, that kicks a poor one. Lux of fortune. Lands in the arms of Benny Gale. 
Kicks to the front of the square. Edwards is a target. Fletcher went the punch. Wanganeen does the crumbing. Masidi intended for him. It was wide of the mark. Somerville did brilliantly for a big man. Back to Wanganeen. From half back towards the middle. O'Connor gathers the bouncing Good ball. Work. Well played from 75 metres out goes long. Cummings! Set up for him. No chance for Galloway. So Cummings chance to make amends here. Always had to sit there, Dennis, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, Callaway, always courageous, being prepared to back back into that contest, but uh, Cummings, the player coming forward, always was going to have the leap over the top. Bombers down by eight points. Cummings missed a pretty easy one just moments ago. Kick from about 35 metres out. That's better. Essendon didn't get their second. Well, they've worked hard, uh, the Bombers, to, to pull back the two goals. Richmond jumped with the first two goals. But this was some very good work by Ryan O'Connor at centre-half forward. Again, big man being able to get down at ground level, gathered the ball cleanly, and then on the left foot, tossing the ball up with sufficient height to allow Scott Cummings to have to jump over Duncan Callaway. The, probably the best way to deliver the ball into the forward line to your forwards is with that little bit of flight. Scott Cummings on screen. Ryan Wood, Premiership player for the Tigers, also a Premiership player for the Bombers. Words of encouragement. Centre square, Danaher. Kicks down, Burke plays in front and takes the mark in front of Alessio. Son of a former great at Tigerland in Francis Burke, finds Miranda. Kicks the ball, looking for Richardson. Here's the target, Berbikov from behind, goes the thump. This time the youngster does very, very well. Supplementary player last year for Essendon. Third in their reserves, best and fairest. So he's had a big rise. And playing on a very good player. Gale wins the tap. Roderick there in a tug of war with Masiti. And we've got a ball up 60 metres out from the Tigers goal. By Mark Nash put the ball down. Gale, this time shark by Doolan. Quick kick towards the boundary line. Kevin, just some of the key matchups around the ground. Gary O'Donnell and, and Prescott are running with each other. Chris Danaher has the job on uh, Matthew Knights, and in the middle, Broderick and Masidi. Gail and Harvey go at it. Interference to Harvey. Advantage is paid. O'Donnell runs away around the outer side. A couple of bounces. Down to left half forward. Centres it. Up goes Somerville from behind. But a courageous mark by Hurd in front. He may have copped his Somerville knee there. But he's quickly to his feet. He looks very, very apologetic, doesn't he? Very intelligent kick coming in too. Ooh. That's courage. Yes. I mean, to continually push back like that. And uh, James Hurd does it week after week. Copping a little friendly fire right there. James Hurd directly in front. 45 metres out. Needed the last kick. That one's wide of the mark. Out of bounds on the full in the pocket. Tigers to bring it back in. This is Burke. Towards half back, Charles, up he goes, couldn't hang on. Kellaway down in front, O'Connell lays it off. Masidi from on the 50 goes for goal, it's bending back. Alessio's down there, juggles the mark. <laughs> Stephen Alessio, two metres out. Just too big, just too big. Uh, again, judged the ball well, claimed the front position, and no matter what David Burke was to try from behind, he was never ever going to... Uh, Butch, the big man in front. Alessio then, going at his second. Point blank range. This for the lead. Essendon in front. Both sides very tall up forward. 
I'd say, Terry, uh, of all the clubs in the competition, Richmond and Essendon have one of the biggest list of players. They have, and uh, I think if ever you were to look at who was going to kick the goals in this game, you would have gone for a tall player to do it before any of the smalls got their hand on the ball. And uh, Alessio, no fumbles in the goal square, very clean hands and uh, very dangerous player up there. Just walked off the street and asked for a game at Bomberland. Looked like he was going to be sensational uh, halfway through uh, last season, but then got injured. So Somerville in the ruck against Charles. The Bombers lead. 3-1-19, the Tigers 2-3-15. Here's O'Donnell, the skipper. To centre-half forward, O'Connor bashes into the back there of his opponent. Even though he took the mark, he's given the free kick away to take. Goes wide, he's got a short to Prescott. Former captain of the Tigers under 19s. Low trajectory kick to Callaway, came down from half back. It was good play by Hurd. Chance for Burke. Runs onto the ball, the hand pass was poor to Callaway, put him under a lot of pressure. Look at Hurd, fantastic at ground level. Gale does well for a big man, caught. Tremendous pressure here at the G. Ball comes back to O'Donnell, the cool head across to Simons. The Bombers through the centre of the ground. Cummings the target, free kick upfield. Yes, and the, Cummings. the umpire indicating back in the midfield a holding on free kick. So the ball now moved forward at the, with the downfield advantage. And umpire Brett Allen indicating the exact mark there for Paul Bullis. Well, said before the game, Terry, that there's some deep seated animosity down there at Bomberland because O'Donnell last year was flattened by Turner in the second semi final even had Turner's photograph posted up on lockers throwing darts at him so they're fired up Cummings 45 meters out looks a great kick His second well Essendon's control now really seems to be across the midfield and uh, giving their forwards as many opportunities as they want uh, Doolan Thompson Wanganeen, all providing good run through the middle of the ground and of the last few minutes uh, their captain Gary O'Donnell has certainly stood up and taken control in there. Essendon lead by 10 points. They've kicked the last three goals. Alessio knocks it down. They're digging it out of the centre very well. Mercedes boots it down towards half forward. This is Gale in the grasp. Got it away. Kellaway towards the wing. Broderick has started so well. He's got the ball right on the wing now. Paul Broderick pulls it back towards the 50 and a clever mark almost taken. In fact, it's played by Pryor. Michael Pryor looks set for a good season. Goes in short. Hurd presenting himself, causing problems. The run of Danaher tried to switch it. Now he's got trouble. Broderick, rebound opportunity for the Tigers. Daffy, 55 metres out. Richardson is free. Oh, what a great kick. Well, they almost mucked it up between them. Richardson's got it five metres out. I think the kick was better than the talking of the two players down there. Almost an involuntary action that hit Richardson on the chest. And now he's on a very sharp angle. He'll run around, kicks it his second and gets it. Great finish. There's the additional 70 or 80 goals for the season. They're wearing number 12. Uh, injured his knee at the Sydney Cricket Ground in round nine and the, the Tiger March continued on all last season without him. But now here we are in the first game of the year and he's already had some four shots at goal, two goals too, and that one a very, very classy one. And people wonder why coaches pull their hair out because we had heard giving a hand pass to Danaher, who was on his uh, preferred side, his left foot, and then elected not to kick the ball. Cost Essendon a goal, O'Donnell. It's been fantastic out of the centre square, kicks up to the half forward line. Here's a chance now for Danaher, can he make amends? Gets the ball across to Calthorpe. It's a hand pass to O'Connor, needs a bounce. Too strong that time for Burke, kicks it off the ground. And some will marks. Just brute force kept forcing the ball forward for Essendon. And is there some tall timber in this game? <laughs> you just look at Somerville down there and uh, Essen have lost absolutely nothing now with Alessio into the ruck and Somerville into the forward pocket. Uh, luck was a fortune there, but 
again being in front and big uh, Rock O'Connor, Ryan O'Connor just being aggressive and keeping the ball moving at all times. Somerville should score. He's only 15 metres out. And he's kicked it. Well, the Tigers really have to make uh, something out of this lot. The, the goals have come all the time through, uh, through the Essendon forwards, being prepared to play in front and having, well, obviously that at height advantage over their uh, defensive opponents from Richmond. They need to do something in the middle of the ground, be able to push it forward a little bit. Richardson has given them something up forward. Richmond need to take control across the middle. Eight goals kicked in the game so far, all by guys over six foot three. Gale tried to crash his way through for Richmond. Alessio goes to the ground. Calthorpe. A pay advantage, says the umpire. Gives it across there as Thompson finds Pryor. Handballs out to himself. Now he needs a bounce. Caught. Nash taps the ball back. Callaway. Under pressure across half back. Gale lends support to Tate. Gets it back to Callaway. Feeds it off to Knights. It's caught. It's a wild hand pass, but it finds Charles. Across half back. It's a throw. And I think, Terry, you agree with it. Yeah, I really can't have those ones over the top of the head. O'Connor, great kick into the path of Cummings down there, but a whistle and 50. It's all happening at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Knights is still pleading his case. I'm not sure it wasn't knocked away from him, though, by O'Connor, was it? Well, doesn't matter. I suppose. O'Connor's got the ball about 15 metres out. I've never seen an umpire change his decision. Certainly not. <laughs> O'Connor's been lively so far at centre half forward. A wide body player. The lead is 10 points. Now it's 16. Knights obviously not happy with the decision but uh, it stands and Ryan O'Connor picks up his first goal for the afternoon and uh, wearing the number three Guernsey this year to Paul Salmon has worn previous years and perhaps with the way he's handled centre half forward here in this early part of this game could very well fill the, fill the shoes or the void that has been left in the side by Paul Salmon's departure to Hawthorne. High quality game played with plenty of feeling. Lesio. Essendon have been very good out of the centre square. This time it's the Tigers' turn. Nash to centre half forward. Harvey can't trap the ball inside 50. Richardson on hands and knees. And we've got a ball up. Veteran there on screen in Harvey. Best and fairest winner, premiership player, all Australian. Wanganeen's been absolutely sensational for Essendon defence. Gets the ball back here to Doolan, does well, hand passes out to himself, then traps it, he's got speed, caught one high for mine. Doolan just shakes the head, Bauer looks on in astonishment. Doolan kicks up towards the centre wing position, Alessio there has, has to beat two Knights at ground level. Gets it back to Prescott, has to rocket the ball back to Tate. Across half back, the Tigers trying to set it up, and Bauer marks. It's a long bomb, Miranda, Wanganeen tries to take a one-hander. Hardwick gets the ball back to Doolan. It's a poor kick, finds Bauer, he's got pace, he can run to 50. He can kick the ball into the square, centres it. Edwards from behind, the punch by Fletcher. At ground level, Gale paddles it along. He's got it for the Tigers in the pocket. Screws it back and Berbikoff punches it through. Well, he tried the right thing, but it really needed to be able to come a little bit further on. Um, Essendon defence standing up very, very firmly here at the moment. Now it's over two minutes till quarter time. Prior short, this is Harvey. Squares it to Fletcher. Around Edwards. Fletcher throws it on the boot. Nothing to kick to on the outer side. Gale goes up. And beats a teammate. 
Gale, forward at the wing. Sends it back inside the 50. Richardson, Edwards off hands. Thompson, Berbikoff off his step. Puts it very high. Plenty of Tigers on the outer side. Alessio with a couple of them. The hand pass untidy. Mercedes goes back to find it. Kicks towards half forward. Coming up is Hurd. Hurd paddling up towards the wing. Pops it over the top to Calthorpe. 60 metres out. Goes looking for Cummins on the lead. Needed with the one grab. But he's getting a free kick for over the shoulder. In fact, it may have been relayed by an umpire back down the ground because Dale was arguing with an umpire away from the confrontation where the ball was as Cummings came on the lead. Dale wouldn't have fond memories of the last meeting between these two sides, as I said at the outset. He's laid low early off the ball and then to his shoulder after half-time. I say the last meeting in the regular season, that was round 15, the draw last year, under lights. Great game. Cummings, who started so well, going at his third. The lead currently at 15 points. Make it 21. He's got three. And this is where players need to be careful. The umpire can award another free kick here if something untowards happens from a Richmond player to an Essendon player. But really, the, the, the Bombers have Scott Cummings three goals in this first quarter, where his best effort all last year was three goals in a game. Three, on three occasions he did that, and he's really started on fire here this afternoon. We see Michael Long on the boundary line, along with Paul Hills and also Denham. So the Bombers with plenty of talent on the bench. Gale this time, takes it, tries to ward off O'Donnell. Got through with brute strength to Prescott. There's a lot of feeling in this game. Prescott runs the 50. Gale from behind, has got it. This is a fantastic game. Benny Gale has marked not the best of kicks. He has missed from here before. Believe you me, when I was coaching, he's missed a couple from here. But I think he's improved a bit with his kicking. This is a very vital kick, isn't it? Uh, with only uh, a short period of time to quarter time, the Tigers need one to go into the break with the confidence that they've been able to develop in these last couple of thrusts forward. Head to the centre square, Benny Gale pops it through. So four goals to Richmond, but uh, it's been split by Essendon bursts of four goals and three goals, and so this is where they need now to back it up with a second goal. The most important centre bounce here, that uh, Richmond were able to win on this previous occasion and Gale get it, but now it's this next one where the Tigers really have to be aggressive at it, win it forward, if they could back it up with a second goal, right on this quarter time break, very important. Only seconds remaining. 43 to 28, Alessio gets it down, Mercedes moves it forward, taken by Tape, who's had a very good turn, boots it towards half forward, Richardson, his eyes off the ball at the last moment, Berbikov, was he pushed in the back, not according to the umpire, Richardson, well played, Berbikov came again, there's the siren, Mace goes down, bounces back up, down goes O'Donnell, so quarter time at the MCG, what a great quarter of football it was, no signs of rust here from either side. 11 goals in the opening term. Richmond started well. Essendon came back strongly. And the Tigers strong to finish. As both teams run to the respective huddles. That's interesting. A couple of mating of the moose. <laughs> Somerville and Gale. So quarter time. And it's 7-1 to 4-4. Scott Cummings has got three goals. Alessio, two. Somerville, one. Matthew Richardson has two. It could have been four. Charles and Gale, one. Jamie Tape, seven possessions. Paul Broderick has had nine possessions. Quite outstanding. Ben Doolan has had seven. He's been very busy as well. So it's quarter time at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Essendon by 15 points.
MCG. Richmond with their work ahead of them. They trail by 15 points. The is not a factor. Terrific day for footy as Charles goes up. Interesting hand pass by Jumpin' Joe. Somerville moved it in the wrong direction. Danaher didn't move it at all. Daffy slides in, grabs it, kicks it down towards Harford. Berbikoff in front missed it. Richardson, great recovery. Falling to the ground, knocked it to the advantage of Gale, who keeps it alive. Hardwick's in there. Now Berbikoff swings it out wide. Bauer, will he keep it in? It's close to the line. Had a decision to make, decided against keeping it in. And it will be thrown in. Man in pastel blue does the job. Rucks go at it. Gale decisively. Naish missed it. Prescott went down. Nicely done by Naish to Daffy, who was taken high. And he'll get the free as he was falling to the ground. The right arm of the tackler going over the shoulder. Ironic cheers from the Tiger faithful. And Nick Daffy will shoot from about 55 metres out. It would take a very good kick from here, but he's normally a pretty long kick. Nick Daffy going for distance sets it up they'll contest about five meters out Somerville rises high and gets it out of bounds in the pocket Daffy was their leading goal kicker last year he booted 45 and, and he, he really goals. needs to pick it up again this year doesn't he Kevin for them to continue on from that 95 season Gale tried to take it out of the ruck fresh air shot caught high then was uh, prior ball goes across to Harvey so the advantage has been paid Fletcher still inside the defensive 50 it's a great kick to space Hardwick all he needs is a bounce and does well great evasion gets it across to Calthorpe but the bounce went to Simons the oh. tackling's been superb oh there's a hard tackle yes. and Bond is down shaken but not stirred <laughs> Chris Bond 50 metre penalty. Great tackle by Prescott, wasn't it? That one initially. Oh dear. Can't be too much of an argument over that one. It's a real edge in the game at the moment, isn't it? Something's, something's going to give here shortly. I always enjoy seeing a player when a, a definite, obvious free kick is given away like Hardwick then, and they're talking to the umpire. <laughs> you often wonder what, they, what they're trying to plead. <laughs> Temporary insanity. <laughs> Bond will be kicking from 45 metres out. The distance is there. It's a great start for the Tigers. Chris Bond uh, in his fourth year with Richmond after playing three years at Carlton has played every game in the last two years best and fairest winner back in 1994 and just keeps getting up Hardwick tests him physically there but Bond very quickly up that's a great goal nine points the margin so the Tigers get back Masidi out of the middle he's done that a lot today Rogers over the ball, claimed by Simons. And the bounce inside the centre square. Essendon's way. Mark Nash, number 14. Somerville at the second attempt, goes again. Immediately had some company. Kellaway off the ground. Somerville going on with the business. Meantime, there's a free kick going to Mercedes. The style, mate. Charles and Somerville as Mercedes drives it inside the 50. Plenty of bodies down there claiming the mark is Cummings. And I think it will be paid. Or was it Alessio in front? Now, how will they call that? But I think Cummings will get up to take a kick and kick at his fourth Gee. goal. Just check with the young Oh, man. he had to check, didn't he? Look, Alessio gets a go at this one early. There are at least the six hands, three clear pairs of hands on that ball. And the umpire didn't come in with the conviction that he deserved, I think. Well, Cummings has been terrific on the forward line. Three so far. 
This to stretch the margin to 15 points the Bombers way. Causing Bullis a lot of problems. Scott Cummings from 40 steers it through. Nice goal. Kenny Fletcher sitting in the grandstand, the father of young Dustin Fletcher, playing in defence for the Bombers uh, today. Very happy Bomber contingency there, but looks a clean mark to me, Terry. Well, OK, yeah, perhaps I can go with you with a little bit there, KB, but I, I thought the contest was uh, even enough throughout with many players, and I would have thought the umpire would have been more aggressive in his decision. Bombers lead 49 to 34. Charles for the Tigers wins the tap. Oh, some of over the top just sits on his opponent. <laughs> just as Charles looks up. <laughs> <laughs> Frozen in time, they were. So this time, Richardson goes the thump to Nash. 42 goals last year for the Tigers. He's been caught. It's important that he can kick goals on the forward line at ground level. He's not going to win this tackling like that, though. Berbikov kicks to this space. Thompson will struggle for pace against Gale. He's got support here from Bond. Daffy also will help out. Bond runs along the boundary. Richardson his target punched away Fletcher took the front position prior at ground level has been good kicks the ball back keepings off with Gale oh good play by Simons he's caught he was held tacked the ball very hard then Rogers on the mark Simons he's kicking the weak part of his game gives it across to Hardwick Heard in front great grab He's just been too good for Callaway so far. Next to kick long, he's got Alessio in his sights. O'Connor was there as well. Bullis happy to just force it through. It's a, it's a difficult one to match up James Hurd, isn't he? 185 centimetres, as is Duncan Callaway, but it's just that extra spring that he has that makes him very dangerous. Now Charles, out of mid-air, ricochets off Hurd. Kick was too tall for Charles coming out from Bond. So a throw in just outside the 50. The forward line looking very potent for Essendon. Cummings, who's had success at full forward, but invariably has been moved away. Alessio gets it down. Mercedes, who's been a key player, gets it across to Doolan. Sends it high. O'Connor behind almost till he goes goal. Like a bar. Ryan O'Connor, his second. Well, it is quite incredible. Kevin, you pointed it out earlier. The goal kickers for Essendon have all been their talls. Uh, we have O'Connor now with two, Alessio with two, and Cummings with four. Uh, all very big, all very strong, but key, all very agile. Kevin shooty has got a big opinion of Ryan O'Connor. Boy from Tasmania last year won the Jezelinko medal playing for the Allies. Somerville takes the free kick. No one on the mark. So it's easy pickings for James Hurd. That was slack defensive play by the Tigers. Hurd to Alessio. Bullis got his hands to the ball. Calthorpe, quick kick into the pocket. Burke, cool head, gives it across to Bond. Gets it back to Rogers. So the Tiger defence under a lot of pressure. It's a poor wobbly kick. Hardwick there, Gale went in hard, and the umpire said he's gone in with the boot. Hardwick wants to get the ball quickly into this bomber forward line. They've got the tall timber. Doolan gets it back to Joe Masiti. It's a high ball. Charles, the saviour for the Tigers, back in defence. Couldn't take it on the second grab. The Sharon wouldn't stick. Simons weaves his way out to Calthorpe, to Pryor. Quick snap. He's kicked it. first Bombers third of the turn 
And they're slipping away right here. Definitely slipping away. They've, uh, since Richmond kicked the first two goals of the game, Essendon have kicked ten to Richmond's three, and uh, there's been some sheer dominance involved in that. But young Pryor playing defence, sneaking down the ground there, and a, a very good check side kick there. 28 points, the margin. Up goes Charles, beaten. Came down to Knights, though. In trouble, taken high, he'll get the free. Think back to the second semi last season. His three running goals, inspirational. Kept the Tigers in it. They need something from him right now. That appeared to be interference. Richardson took the mark to Daffy. Goes long down towards full forward. Fletcher touched it. From behind. Austin Fletcher. Stretching every sinew there just to touch it across the line. Goes short with a bit of elevation. A bit of sandwich coming out to Hardwick. Up towards half back. 10 2. Good kicking by the Bombers. The forward line has been well organised. This is Harvey. Richmond a 5 5. Thompson on the outer side. Danaher breaks for him. Pinpoint accuracy. O'Connor's on. Andor Simons if he can move the ball. Danaher's away, 85 metres from goal, Cummings on the lead, bounces off his chest, Calthorpe, dragged down by Bond, but a free kick is going to Cummings. Pushed in the back, says the umpire. Strewing Tigers everywhere. Burke, slowly up, Cummings has got four. He's kicking from about 35 metres out. Dennis Duncan Callaway didn't come out of that clash too well at all. His right shoulder. Thompson comes off, Long comes on, there's Callaway. Not sure there was a lot to the kick. The ball had bounced off Cummings' chest before any hands touched his back, and that was because I think a Tiger was off balance, crashing to the ground. Cummings, that's a sense of honour, kicks it behind. Essendon stretch their lead. And the roar goes up when Michael Long comes onto the arena. Uh, stage is set from him to really take over here now. Rogers kicks the ball long, looking for Tape. Big roar went up when Michael Long came on. Tape was a poor effort. Look at Simons. Great play. He's got a loose man in Cummings. Runs into the open goal. Kicks goal number five. There's Tate shaking his head, but they look rattled, the Richmond defence, because I think it's fair to say, Terry, that the Bombers midfield keep pumping the ball down there. That They haven't even got time to take a breath. No, they haven't, uh, and that's exactly what happened on this occasion. The, the kick-off out into the uh, half-back line for Richmond, but again, just the numbers of Essendon surged on it to win possession, and then the key forward left perfectly in the square. 69 to 35, and again they come out of the middle. This time a new face just on the ground. But a face the crowd certainly love. Long looking for Cummings. Off hands. Oh, Donald's got another one. It's a rout. And there's the man. Michael Long. Sensational. <laughs> Been on the ground only some 30 seconds and immediately into the plane. Look at left foot, Cummings couldn't handle it under the pressure. But again, the numbers there, just Essendon just swarming at the moment. And the skipper does it on the left foot. And a small man at last kicks a goal. Edwards coming off for the Tigers. Greg Deere coming on. Somerville wins the tap. Danaher's been terrific. He's had the big job playing on nights. Knights has only had four possessions. He's a key to the Tigers. Pryor quickly out of the centre. Tape from behind. He's looking for Richardson. But Doolan, who's been very good, knocked out of his hand. Berbikov for the Bombers. Pushes Bullis over the line. Boundary throw in. The dominance of Essen at the moment even has Richardson right down nearly at half back trying to get a kick so uh, he's now not as dangerous a player for the Tigers as they would want up near the goals. The Bombers lead by 40 points. Bauer takes the free kick. Not quite certain what to do. O'Donnell goes to the ground and thought he might have been manhandled. Bauer up towards Benny Gale but Somerville 
Too big, too tall. Across to Hardwick. Yes, Hardwick comes away from half back. Kicks towards the middle. Heard. Awkward bounce for him. Controls it brilliantly to Long. And he's away. Storms through the middle. Sets it up for Cummings. Cummings is down there with Burke and he was simply too strong that time. Checked in his approach to the ball. Just stayed off. It came again. It was a good kick too. And now Cummings, who is really enjoying this afternoon, has five so far. Going at his sixth right here. Lead already at 40 points for the Bombers. Dominating the midfield, dominating out of the centre. And so many lively forwards. And what about the introduction of Long? Saved till now and instrumental, it seems, in two goals. Cummings. Kicks truly. Bit of a smile. Six goals, two, and uh, we're not even at half time. He's certainly on target to threaten his own personal best of eight. And if Michael Long continues to get the ball in the midfield, eight would be easy pickings for Scott Cummings. I knew that was a goal because down the punt road end, not a murmur because that's the Tiger stronghold. So the Bombers, 13 goals, 3-81, leading the Tigers, 5-5-35. Richmond trying to come forward. Big pack of players. Wanganeen's been superb in defence. Gives it across to Pryor, who has been outstanding. Kicks the space. O'Donnell will run on. Happy to see it just trickle over the line. So Mark Harvey... Blood rule will come into vogue there. Deer off the bench to Broderick. To Richardson. Berbikoff does well this time. Punches the ball towards the boundary line. Daffy. Bowled over. And we've got a boundary throw in. So six goals to Scott Cummings. Alessio is also booted too as, as has Ryan O'Connor. For the Tigers their leading goal kicker is Matthew Richardson. O'Donnell to Masiti, who took a while, lost it. Prescott goes in with courage. Doolan, Masiti, very high kick. Nash goes back, brilliantly done. Simons came up to meet him. The ball spilt. Socket off the ground by Gale. O'Donnell. And the Bombers will build from half back again. This is Pryor towards half forward. Heard. He's so strong with the hands. Played on immediately. Doolan, probing kick. Chance for the crumbs to go behind, though, no Tate. He's been resolute in defence. Out of the goal square. Swings it wide. In front, Deer. Got a hand to it. Bower a chance on the ground. Diving in there is Denham. Knocked out brilliantly by Simons. It was a very clever tap on. Doolan's kick didn't have the carry. And Tate once more gets in the row. Jamie Tate. The Tigers take a collective breath. Broderick's got it. Meantime, it will come back to Deer. It's a Tiger free kick at right half back. They're down 13 3 to 5 5. Exhilarating performance by Essendon. One of their veterans copped a whack across the nose there. Mark Harvey, he's off the ground as Nash kicks down towards half forward. Richardson slipping away this time, takes the mark on his chest. About 75 metres from goal. Gale gives him the lead. It's popped out in front. He's got two to beat. Fetcher with those long arms. Masiti just gave the ball across to Pryor to Long. Gets the bounce. Caught high. The crowd just comes to life when Michael Long goes for the ball. Danaher inside the centre square. Cummings is his target. He's been too strong. Pushed to Burke out of the way. Tate battling hard in defence to Bond. O'Connor tough in the clinches. And a ball up inside the Bombers attacking 50. It's yeah. Scott Cummings there. He's kicked six. And as you can see, David Burke now has uh, the real task of quelling his uh, forward play. Tape. O'Connor peels for the free kick. Another ball up. 
Tiger, as you said, uh, taking a deep breath. Dennis, they're waiting to exhale. <laughs> It's a shocking movie. Tate, he's been terrific for the Tigers. He's paddled so hard under so much pressure. And it's easy to say that the Tigers defenders uh, have been beaten so far in this first half. But when the ball keeps coming down, it's very, very tough for defenders if they don't get support midfield. And Essen have been superb there. Rogers. Played last year mainly as a wingman half forward and usual to see him kicking out today long he's only been on for five minutes it's been sensational Denham started the game on the interchange O'Connor gives it across to Calthorpe Simons goes in hard so does Bond ball up on the other side margin 42 points the Bombers way Scott Cummings has got six goals Ryan O'Connor two, Matthew Richardson two, both of them coming in the opening term. The Tigers just one goal in this quarter. Again, Essendon work it forward. This is Calthorpe towards the middle. Awkward one for Cummings down there. Danaher a half chance, was he held without it? Work battles on. Charles to his own advantage. Well, as it turned out, it wasn't. It bounced away from him, but that will do, I think. As Essendon continue to tighten the screw here. 13-4 to 5-5, five, five. so six goals in this term for the Bombers so far. O'Connor on the ground, Calthorpe who's got busy in this quarter, coming through his deer to tape. He's got support, away to Burke. He's at right half back, he boots it towards the wing, not a particularly good kick. Hurt found it on the bounce, Berbikov. Back towards centre half forward it goes. Deer in best position. Over the top, Somerville. O'Connor. Mobile for a big man to Doolan. Doolan down towards full forward. Cummings stayed on his feet. He's been penalised. Oh, that's a pretty tough call. They were body to body. He's been doing it with strength. A bit of swings and slides there, though, uh, Dennis. I think he picks some up every now and again his way. Charles got the free and goes in short to Kellaway. Still short of half back. And now Bond in the true centre-half back position. Dropped a heavy knock earlier in the term, flattened by Hardwick. It's a tough customer. This is a bad sign for Richmond when they've got to stop and prop like that across half back. Finds Richardson. Well, he's been the star for the Tigers up forward. Berbikov has uh, the job on him, but the kick's a poor one. Heard. He can pop up anywhere. Berbikov's his target, Richardson wins it on 50, can he kick his third? It's into the pocket, Gale in front, off hands, boundary throw in. They've been good at bottling up Richmond's flowing style oh, of game. Certainly Jerry. have, and that last thrust forward really was a very stagnant one. Richmond must make the most of this boundary throw in here. Fletcher wins the tap. Quick snap by Knights. Minor score. Well, the intention was right. Uh, Benny Gale looking to flick it over the back and Knights running onto it. Perhaps the wrong player to do that, being a natural left footer and being forced onto his right. Perhaps a right footer should have been the one to come through. Just five possessions to Knights. Tigers captain today. Tony Free missing for the Tigers. Some of all marks on half back. All the big men have fired for the Bombers today. Somerville, O'Connor, Alessio, Cummings. All have had outstanding first halves. In front was Simons, Roderick. He's picked up possessions for Richmond. Pinpoints, Knights. Kicks long, Gales the target, Wanganeen from behind. Great defender. Right from the opening bounce, he has done some mercurial things. Finds Masidi, gives it across to Pryor. Bow did well to force the poor hand pass. Masidi driven into the ground. Play on, says the umpire. The Tiger fans wanted a free kick, but they'll get a ball up. Well, he just keeps throwing himself into the fray, doesn't he? Kevin Wangan, and here he goes again. The rubber man up and down. 13 4 5 6. Essendon in control. Here's the time remaining. Dia 
directs it down, but that's dangerous. Doolan, did he throw it? Hurt, took a long time. Missed by Pryor, picked up by Daffy, who snaps. Has it got the carry? Yes, it has. They needed that one. McDaffy's first. Tiger's second of the turn. And definitely a, a player that really has to lift in the second half because it, it is the forward line that Richmond needs the lift from. Nick Daffy, their leading goal kicker from last year, actually playing his 50th game of AFL football today, picking up his first goal. Well, the Bombers lead by just under seven goals. The Tigers came back from five goals down in the second semi last year. Can they do it again today? The ball is being brought back. A free kick will go to Gale, Michael Gale. He's on the uh, back edge of the centre square. Well into time on in this second quarter. Just the seven possessions to Gale so far. Richardson, he's got two to beat. Berbikoff got it, got into the back. They're playing advantage. Bauer runs onto the ball, just outside 50. That's a poor kick. Oh, gee, this has got me. Michael Long has got a paddock on the outer side. Fletcher didn't see him, fortunately for Richmond. Fletcher's kick taken here by Calthorpe. Richardson, he's been just fantastic and we can say it's his comeback game after that knee reconstruction last year. Dia started on the bench, fires the ball off Dunace, gives it to Bauer, a tight angle, it's an important kick. Hits the wood. Well he's improving by degrees, 6-7 to 13-4. Approaching half-time of the MCG. Fletcher goes in short. Dangerous kick. Doolan, unkind bounce. He's got the recovery. It came back to Doolan. Calthorpe up towards the middle. And a good second term. Calthorpe, brilliant shepherd. Calthorpe, about 80 metres from goal. Kicks inside the 50. Tape was held. He'll get the free. Broderick is down. Slow to get up. Met solidly by Simons. Meantime, Tape sends play towards the outer side. Rogers is away. Rogers kicks inside the 50. End to end. Oh, 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 what a mark. David Burke. The old man would be very proud of that one. Over her, if you don't mind. Perfectly placed, the shins just onto the back and as Hurt tried to come, Burke was able to get that second lift. Now this is a very important kick, fair enough it was a great mark, but he needs to finish it. Hurt's coming off the ground and Burke as he came down, I'm sure took a peek at the giant scoreboard and it was as good as he had first thought, in fact maybe a bit better. What a mark! players of the season will be hard pressed to better that one. Wanganeen took a terrific mark about five minutes ago. Now Burke is going in short. Gale stretches. There a man short down there. Yeah, what happened there was that James Hurd coming off in this clash here. There you go. Here he goes. Up over the top. Perfectly placed in that clash. Hurd, uh, the blood rule sends him off. Ess uh, Essendon then a defender short. Brendan Gale takes advantage of it, drops in short. So Gale, from 15 metres out. He's kicked it. A highlight there for the Tigers. Now the Essendon runner, is it going out or is that the Richmond runner? I think it's the... That's the Richmond runner. runner. Yeah. Well, the issue here is that if the Essendon runner decided James Hurd should come off because of the blood rule and leave them a man short, I think the umpire should be the one to adjudicate that. So Essendon were wrong, then should have waited for yeah. the umpire to send him off. I thought the runner was going out to the umpire to have a word. 
the seat here. Yeah. So you're better to wait to allow the umpire to send you off, so play must Absolutely. stop. Absolutely. Free kick goes to Dia, kicks to the half forward line. The Tigers just getting a sniff. They might just get back into this game late in this second quarter. Hardwick, handballs out to Pryor. It kicks along to Alessio. Dia's there from behind. Alessio on the second grab. Can't take it. Gives it across to Calthorpe. The raging ball to Cummings. Take. Mr. Dependable. Been very good, hasn't it? Very good. Came across from South Australia a couple of seasons ago. Most underrated player. Gives it across to Daffy. Kicks long to Bullis. Knights. Mark centre wing position. The Tigers have gone up a cog in the last five minutes. There's the siren to end the second half. And I think we're in for a terrific third term. The Tigers will be going in at half time, trailing the Bombers. 7-7-49, Essendon 13-4-82. But with the memory that last year in the second semi-final, they trailed by just on five goals at half time. And they turned that around to one of their greatest wins in many, many years. So Michael Gale with hands on him. A lot of... Uh, a lot of uh, thinking to be done at half time for both sides, but certainly in the first half, the Bombers, the better side. Scott Cummings has got six goals. Mark Harvey seems to be okay. Came off under the blood rule midway through the term. O'Connor's got a couple. Alessio's got a couple. And for the Tigers, Matthew Richardson's got two, as has Brendan Gale. There were some signs approaching half time. The Tigers looking a little bit better, but they were coming from, as they say, a low base because Essendon played some terrific football. Essendon, their runners doing well, they're getting the ball out of the centre, and their forward line is looking very sharp. So, can they do it for the second time running the Tigers and come back from this sort of deficit? They did it in the second semi final. They... Richmond fans hoping for a little deja vu. Deja Voodoo, they trail by a big margin as we start the third term here at the MCG and out of the middle, Mercedes drives his side down towards half forward. The Bombers generally have been so good at getting it out of the centre. This is Danaher, sends it back inside the 50. Tape is there, almost a clever mark, worked out of it. Doolan, who's been very good, dragged down. O'Connor's over the ball. Miranda slides in. Back comes Doolan, flicks it out. Cummings, who's booted six, got it away to Long, nicely done, Masiti, off his step from 45, misses. So they'll need to do what they did in the second semi-final last year, the Tigers, dig deep and come from behind. There's their task, 7-7, 13-5, five unanswered goals in eight minutes in the second term, putting the Bombers in a very strong position. Bond kicks in. Very high towards the outer side. Somerville, the leaper, angles it towards the boundary off his fist. Down goes Long. Was he holding the ball? Yes. And Tate will get the free. It's about the first uh, occasion that Michael Long's put a foot wrong and came on briefly in the second quarter, but really dominated play there for a while. Out of bounds on the full. That's untidy. Broderick trying to hold in. Couldn't bluff the umpire. Masidi comes away. Back inside the 50 with a kick. Charles indecisive. And needed a big fist in front. Tape tidies up again. He's defended very well. The mark is held by Broderick. The defender overcommitted. So as a result, Broderick runs away. Kicks it towards the wing. Picked up on the half volley by Naish to Dia. Who boots it down towards half forward. And Harvey takes the front position for the Bombers. Pryor ridden into the ground. Wanganeen. Very good in the first half. Gets it back to Pryor once more, heads for the safety of the boundary line. Joe Masiti. Outstanding first half of winning the ball. 14 possessions. Bombers by 34 points. O'Donnell. Cross to Masiti as he held. Back towards Bomber Thompson. Goes short find Somerville. On the edge of the square, gets it across to O'Donnell, sets it up well, across to Danaher, been a handy player, has had the job tagging Knights, Cummings kick six, has the ball punched away by Bullis, Heard, hard up on the boundary line. So both coaches have gone pretty much with their set lineups uh, from before half time, 
with uh, David Burke being in the forward line now for Richmond, being pitted against Mark Harvey. Dia started the game on the interchange, down to Knights. Long has he been legged or held? Take your pick. Well, he's the first man in there, isn't he? And uh, just the ability there to, to be able to read the bounce of the ball, being able to control it, and Bond impeding his progress. Confidence can be an amazing thing, though. Some hesitation there between Bond and Knights, just a moment of it, and suddenly Long was through. So Long from the kick. Steers through another one. Richmond didn't need that. Well, this is one of the most exciting talents, I think, in Australian rules football, Michael Long. Misses all of 1994 as a result of a knee injury and returns last year to become runner-up best and fairest of the club and has been dominant in just a short period of time in this game so far today. So the Bombers up by 40 points. Bounce favours Somerville, who hooks it down behind. Coming through strongly, Broderick. Boots the Tigers to centre half forward. And Dale, who's put it two goals, takes a good mark. It was coming low and hard. And he wastes no time. From right on the 50, goes for goal. Seemed to hurry that a bit. And behind. The Mercedes broderick duel, that's the key one to the game. The Mercedes really took over during the second quarter. Broderick, a couple of crucial wins from the centre bouncer starting this third quarter. Could be a sign for the Tigers. Dustin Fletcher to bring it in. Started on Edwards. Richardson now playing at full forward. Edwards on the bench. This is Doolan. Goes in short. Hardwick. So much of the ball today, Essendon. Hardwick from half back towards the wing. O'Connor pushes off his opponent, then takes the mark. Umpire right alongside, nothing under Ward. O'Connor towards right half for a terrible kick, but that's the way they've been going. Out of the chest of Harvey, who beckons Cummings forward. Cummings drops back, and the mark is held in front by Bullis. Yeah, not very good aggressive football there from uh, Scott Cummings. Goes short and finds Nash. He's had a quiet first half. It's a floaty old kick down towards goal. Try to take on the half volley. Danaher gives it across to Harvey. Good smother there by Deer. Comes back to Harvey. Just tunnel board it back to Danaher. Caught one high. They've dominated the game midfield, the Bombers. Kicks up towards Alessio. Takes the front position long. 45 metres out. Can he hook it around and kick a goal? Bullets backs back. Bit indecisive. Kicks the ball long. It's a one-on-one -on -one duel. Doolan's been really beaten today. Miranda this time. Gets the ball back to Nash. Caught by Long. Miranda. Goes backwards to Broderick. Finds Prescott on the edge of the centre square. The Tigers. Now, chance for Rogers. He's outside 50. He's got Richardson in the square calling for it. It's two against one. Burke, Richardson from behind. Could take it on the second grab. Hardwick for the Bombers. He's looking for some support. He had no one to kick the ball to. He has to go back now, transfers it, and finds Pryor. You called it well there, Kevin. There was just nothing on offering out on this member stand wing for, uh, for the Essendon defence running. Pops it across to Fletcher. Kicks long out of trouble. Gale in front, too tall for Berbikov. Benny Gale kicked a goal in the first term, one in the second to Deer. Started on the bench, right on 50. Not noted as a goal kick. It's an important kick. Great goal, Greg Deer. Two goals all last year for, uh, for Greg Deer. And yeah. Rees gets himself in the perfect position, just floating forward of the play slightly, being able to run on the 50 and then a very long left footer. 
So the margin 33 points as it was at the half. Somerville goes up down to the path of Mercedes. He's dragged off it. Nicely done by Knights. Forced the error. Miranda boots it towards half forward. Didn't look. Harvey gets back. Takes the mark. Squares the ball towards the outer side and Doolan. A lot of possessions this afternoon. Ben Doolan kicks back towards the wing. On the lead herd. It spills off his fingertips. Prescott tidies up. They're making a move now, the Tigers. You can sense it. Miranda's kick again. He gives it away. And Wanganin gets back in the pocket. Both times, Mark Miranda. Not under pressure. Keen to make amends. Goes back hard. But what a terrific grab by Hurd to O'Donnell. Worked back to the boundary line. Kicks towards the wing. Long is there. Works off his man. Can he keep it in? No, he can't. Out of bounds. It'll be thrown in. Michael Long. The Norm Smith medalist came on late in the second quarter. Just looking back to James Hurd. He can make you look good, James Hurd. At the beat two, there's Hurd once more, taken to ground. It's great to see a, a player of the stature of James Hurd just coming through on that run through there. And Ryan O'Connor, you would have seen his right hand, not pushing the ball, just dropping it down right in the path of the runner. Hurd does the ruck work. Taken to ground by Callaway, his opponent. Another ball up on the edge of the centre square. Bombers lead by 33 points. Eight marks for James Hurd. Callaway thumps the ball towards the boundary line. Miranda to Broderick. Tigers now with some numbers to Prescott. They're starting to run hard to Rogers. Wanganin playing in front. Nace with a quick kick. Richardson gets the bounce. Can he trap it? He will. He'll kick his third. Well, during the finals last year, the second semi, the Tigers came from five down at half time. It was a big win. And Essendon's been the dominating side in this uh, game so far, but one senses that the Tigers are coming back. Well, he's the focal point, Matthew Richardson, uh, three goals. He was the, the real cream on the work early in the game with two goals in the first quarter. If the Richmond centre line now can keep driving the forward, ball forward, and particularly Paul Broderick, the Tigers are right there. 89 is 62. 12 and a half minutes till three-quarter time. Another bad bounce. Daffy goes in almost the meat in the sandwich, or the duck in the sandwich. It comes back towards the middle. Taken by O'Donnell, sweeping hand pass. Harvey storms down the ground. Kicks from the wing inside the 50. Cummings behind. Was he held? Great mark going back by Charles. Charles storms away. Comes out wide now with a kick. Plenty of Tigers. Daffy comes to the ball. Having called Deer out. Kicks towards half forward, going back with great courage, Hardwick. Hardwick at half back then. Not a good kick. Powell at bounce obligingly for Harvey, who knocks it down to Mercedes. Mercedes off his step, sends it inside the 50, reaching over the top. Charles again. This time will settle. Justin Charles. Tigers making their move. He kicks it towards the wing. Dale outnumbered. Down to Harvey. Nicely done. Prescott chased him hard and brought him down. Michael Gale's hand pass. Worth a kick. It bounces towards centre half forward. But Thompson gets back. Danaher breaks for him. Coming up the ground is Long. Long's got it now. Danaher runs on. Told to play on Long. Goes to Danaher. He was used eventually. Back to Long. Long just outside the 50. Pulls it back towards Hurd and why not? Neil the great mark, but in the meantime there's a wrestle. A Richmond player is down. They're calling for a stretcher. Cummings has been reported. And Richmond will get the ball. And Bullis belatedly goes across. And remonstrates with Cummings. And now Somerville's involved. That's well, part of the game, Dennis. They said there was uh, a lot of feeling between these two clubs because of what took place in the finals last year. Grenfell went down, and also O'Donnell. Whoa! <laughs> That's a moving mill. Certainly constitutes a melee, that one. The stretcher is there. 
Well, if the stretcher is brought out onto the ground, the player has to hop onto the stretcher. That's the new law that's just been introduced that's by the right. AFL. And if, and if the player refuses to leave the ground on the stretcher, the club receives a $25,000 fine and he can be reported. So the Tigers have got a real problem here. They've got to get Bond on the stretcher. And, the and if he comes off, he can't come back on for 20 minutes, so they lose their player. Well, that's correct. He'll be off for 20 minutes and he'll be fined. The club will be fined 25000 and he'll be reported if he won't hop on. And the reason why this was brought on, it was because it was felt he can't run off the ground neither. He must go off on the, on the stretcher. Well, the, reason it, the reason it was brought in, Dennis, was because uh, clubs were bringing on the stretcher to hold up the play and the AFL decided that they weren't going to uh, fall for that ploy. Well, it's a bit pedantic if they've got to put him on the stretcher. Well, the rule uh, is that if you don't if you don't go off on it, Dennis... Well, we're the, making history. This is history in the centenary year. Dennis, can I say, the reason why the player has to go onto the stretcher, it does look comical, but it's to stop clubs from bringing oh, the sure, stretcher sure. onto the ground, and it's an embarrassment for young Bond to hop on the stretcher and to go off. The stretcher should not have been brought on in the first place. So he's off for 20 minutes. Neil has got the ball. Kicks it towards the wing on the outer side. Berbikov in trouble, away to Pryor. Pryor kicks down towards half court. Charles again's in the road, takes the mark. Hit the ground running. Comes away from half back, kicks towards half court. Burke stumbles, Harvey kept his footing. Took the mark. O'Donnell sweeps it over to Berbikov. Runners inside, one of whom Thompson fumbles, gets by Burke, throws it on the boot. Sends it down towards half court. O'Connor shins it away. Spills to Hardwick to Mercedes. 75 metres out. Down towards full court. Charles! His fourth mark in the space of four minutes. He has been sensational across half back. Goes wide, finds Gale. The crowd coming to life here at the MCG. On to Broderick. The Tigers starting to mount their first serious challenge to the Bombers. Neal's in the centre square. Kicks the ball long. Rogers is his target in front. Berbikov, ground level. The Bombers under pressure. Chance for Miranda. Weaves across the Nash. Still inside 50 for the Tigers. Bowled over by Thompson. Miranda paddles it across. Wanganeen on hands and knees. Twists and turns. Heads for the safety of the boundary line. Miranda can trap it. Keeps the ball in. Has a shot of goal that's just missed. Very hot in there, very hot. The Tigers have really got themselves up and going. Centre half forward is their real problem. I mean, David Burke has let them down in the last two pushes forward. He hasn't been strong enough. Gale hasn't done enough yet today. They need someone to stand up there right in the tough part of the ground. The Bombers by 26 points. Harvey has it on half back flank. Sets it up for Knights from behind. Goes for the punch. Callaway. Tough as nails. Torpedoes it back. Oh. Out comes O'Connor. Couldn't take it. Nice scratch it for the Tigers. He's going to drill it. <laughs> 16 minutes into this third term, and here come the Tigers. First time all day that the Tigers have been able to string three goals together. Uh, the best, obviously, had been two in the lead up, and Essendon always seemed to have the answers. But just in these last five minutes, uh, there's been a real lift by the Tigers. Justin Charles in, in defence has been tremendous, dropping back and marking. He's taken care of Summerlin and Alessio. Now Nace jumps in as the true ground cover of player is in the four line in true fashion. Goals under pressure. Margin 20 points then. Alessio and Dia, they stand and compete, and the free kick is going to Dia. Greg Dia to Broderick. He slips away from the centre, kicks it down towards half forward. Harvey on the road again. Harvey from half back, wide towards the wing. Somerville, will it stay in for it? Gathers the bouncing ball, looping hand pass. Calthorpe had to wait, confronted by Broderick, gets it away. This is Denham. Denham kicks it down towards half forward. Don't tell me, not Charles again. Should have punched that time. Heard beat him. Heard right on the 50 then. Kicks long towards Cummings. Cummings goes back. Well defended by Bullis. Got a timely fist on that one. Doolan sliding as he gathered that ball. Couldn't control it. The hand pass wide. Tracked across the line by Sullivan. And it will be thrown in. 14-5, 10-9. Essendon in front. 
but the Tigers getting closer. The margin was 33 points at half time. Kellaway dragged down. Hardwick still going. Hardwick towards the pocket. Off the ground down there by Simons. That came from a boot. Pushed across the line by Knights. That would have been a goal. Well, a great example there of just the ability to be able to keep the ball alive on the forward line, around the boundary line. Don't let it go over. Keep it back in. Knights go short, looking for goal. There's danger because Hurd's going to get there. Drops the ball. Gets away with it. So boundary throw in on 50. Bombers looked so good during that second term. The Tigers now answering the challenge. Denham started on the bench. Gets it down. Roderick takes it away for the Tigers. Gale screws the ball back. Oh! oh! <laughs> Not paid. It was a slips catch that Brock Marsh would have even been happy to take. Tremendous stuff. Former number 15, Alan Bluey-Ezo, would be very happy to see the jumper still jumping around, being very energetic and athletic. Deer down to Nash. Harvey's been very good in this third term across half-back. Time for cool heads. Gives it across to O'Donnell, the skipper, to Pryor, who's been a steady defender. It's a wobbly old kick. Charles. He's been strong across half-back. He's been a brick wall for the Tigers. Heard, quick snap out of the pack. He's off target. Mark Williams there of Essen, the former Collingwood captain, Kevin Sheedy in the box. First time, starting to get a bit anxious in the Brains Trust there. Martin, 22 points. Neil kicks in. Towards the outer side, they need to move this ball around the outer side. The Tigers, they've got the numbers. Bullis concedes some ground. Take Charles, he's been very lively. Now, one of the men I was talking about before, the other side littered with these three players. Miranda, he can run. Miranda runs to the 50, settles, decides to take a shot. In fact, it slides across the face. Gale goes back. Couldn't hang on, it's out of bounds in the pocket. Just needed that ball to be knocked on in the Tigers direction on the outer side. They were held up and that cost them. 14-7, 10-9, approaching three-quarter time. Thrown in, Gale is there, down behind. Denham, burrowing in. Plenty of bombers. Fletcher back to Denham, confronted. Little chip pass to the pocket, taken away by Wanganeen. Close to the boundary line, goes with the outside of the boot. Miranda will send it back in. Broderick loose, 60 metres from goal. Paul Broderick decides to unload, goes with a spiral. Miss Cues, Alessio, hard to mark that sort of kick, and he did very well. Took it on the second grab. Now it's Calthorpe, the raging bull. The Hardwick, Simons comes through with a punch. Neil, can he keep the ball in? He does. Then check sides it, back inside 50. Gale, not a diving mark. Stacks on the mill. Well, the Essendon defence having to call upon all its experience here now. Harvey's been very good. Thompson alongside him. Um, the, the Richmond forwards really taking the task right up to them now. Hills warming up on the boundary line for the Bombers. Kicked off the ground by Michael Gale. Should be kept in here, but Calthor happy to run it over. And very, very lucky, I would say. Ninety-one, the Bombers play the Tigers. Sixty-nine. Kelthorpe once more kicks it off the ground. The J. Witten medalist. The Tigers just need a little bit of movement around this boundary throw, and they've got no one coming through hard across the back that Gale may feed with a flick across the top. And there's someone running through that gap. Gale got his hands to the ball. Roderick read his mind. Pryor taken to ground. The tackling has been ferocious right from the start of this game. Well, it has. So, I mean, all players committed to it. Some of them a little bit crude at times, a little bit high, but uh, certainly the intent has been right in the game all the way through. Michael Pryor came up with that ball, 17 possessions, having a good day, here's Broderick, 
Not a particularly good kick. Fletcher in front to Cal Thorpe. He's at centre half back. That's ambitious. He's lost it. Miranda feeds it back. Naish met solidly by Thompson. He's hurt again. Naish has cut a couple of very heavy knocks in this turn. He's getting the free kick. Plays on immediately. Now Knights can kick it a long way. Not like that he can't though. It went into the oncoming Danaher. Socket forward for Essendon only as far as half back in Kellaway. Kellaway back to half forward for the Tigers. Dia was up from behind O'Connor. Brilliantly done by Mercedes down in front. Swings it out wide to O'Donnell who finds Hardwick. He plays on immediately. Kicks towards the 50. Kellaway and Hurd. Well done by the young defender. Up it across the boundary line, and that will do. Duncan Kellaway, one of six Tigers who played every game last season, concedes nothing in defence. Boundary throw in right on the 50. Now, Richmond, if only they can get the next goal. Bombers thinking, of course, 28 points would be very nice. Approaching three quarter time, Dio is up. Spills behind Hardwick. You don't get a second chance at the moment. This game is ferocious. Broderick into the path of Prescott. Prescott towards half forward. Here comes Harvey again. He's been very good, but he missed it that time. Thompson can't control it. It's out of bounds. Under pressure, what better heads would you want than Mark Harvey and Bomber Thompson? First time in this uh, game we've seen the Bomber defence under real pressure. And Harvey has been superb in this third term. Cummings has booted six goals for the Bombers. He's also been reported. Richardson's booted three for the Tigers. Thompson caught. Danaher on hands and knees. Alessio bowled over by Daffy. Kicked off the ground by Pryor. And it's tough in the clinches. It's been very good, Michael Pryor. It's taken him a long time to make his mark at Bomberland. Played very well on Peter Matera in the finals last year. Could have been the turning point of his career. Alessio in front. Dia. He's done well in the ruck since coming off the bench. Gives it across to Naish. It's a hurried kick into the forward line. Two against one. Edwards couldn't win it for the Tigers and Richardson's been bowled over. Oh. The boundary line. And a free kick is going to Ryan O'Connor. Gee, that's a tough call. He was about two metres out of bounds, wasn't he? Very tough call. I mean, the player has to have some opportunity to be able to dispose of it, and there was no such an occasion there at all. That was not the same umpire adjudicating on Calthorpe about five minutes ago. Alessio drops a sit-up. Chance now for Broderick. Quick kick. Back to 50. Rogers needs a kind bounce. Never got it. Great work here for the Tigers. Quick oh. snap by Daffy. One point. Great piece of body work though, wasn't it? Be able to take the ball, force himself in against, body to body against his opponent, and then just spin himself out of the trouble, set, his, set himself up for a good shot at goal, which really Nick Daffy should have nailed. Yes, would have been special. So Fletcher to bring it in. 14-7-10-10, Fletcher. Comes up wide, broadcast side. Gale, but generally now the crumbing is falling to the Tigers. Miranda, oops. Richardson slipped over, Danaher couldn't control it, Nash to his own advantage, he's inside the 50, the sharpshooter pulls it back towards the middle, oh well done, it came across from Rogers to Edwards, but Edwards' kick has gone out of bounds on the full in the opposite pocket, it was quick, he needed the finish, it wasn't forthcoming, Edwards who started the game, He's spent a lot of time on the bench. Thompson goes towards the other side. Again, Richmond will bring it back in. Miranda, the looping hand pass over the top. This is Gale. Slashes his way through. Short to Broderick. And Broderick has this one. Only about 40 metres out. Paul Broderick started brilliantly. Faded out of the game in the second term as Richmond were being overrun. But he's come back well. 21 possessions so far. He made his league debut at Fitzroy back in 88 under David Parker. Very important kick this one. They're down by 21 points. They trailed by 33 at the half. The breeze very gentle. They've dominated this term. Shades of the second semi-final. Broderick gets the goal. Four goals 
and there's been a couple of players, and Mark Narendra has been one of those players who has really switched on into the game now. Out on that outer wing, he's been very aggressive, and Broderick, I think, has now wrested control again back from Masidi in the centre of the ground, and uh, shows all his skills there with a fine goal. Lord Broderick, two years at Tigerland, second and third, their best and fairest. It's been a great pickup. Tate, outstanding defender. Kicks down to the half forward line. O'Connor traps it, caught. He's got the strength to handball wildly. To the edge of the centre square. Good play by Denham. That was quick thinking. Kicks it towards Hardwick, caught high. Play on. Look at the Richmond players now throwing themselves in top, on top of the ball. Denham, great vision. Masidi on 50. Joe Masidi kicks a goal. from Joe Masidi. The question can be asked of you, can't you? Once your opponent gets one, as Broderick got the last one for Richmond, it's up to you then, as being the direct opponent of that player, to have an influence on the game. And Masidi replies just as quickly. Masidi and Broderick, two key players here, Kevin. 20 possessions to Joe Masidi. Played a lot off the interchange bench last year after being a star in their premiership side. Simons, back to Long, Hills, never reached his target, now he does well to follow up, back to Denham, to high kick, in front is that man Tate. Fantastic, Tate squares the ball to Broderick, time is running out though for both teams in this third term, Broderick towards the wing and Daffy gets the ground running, Nick Daffy just forward of the wing, sets it up. Here comes Fletcher, knocked away by Gale. He's lacking support, does it by himself. Man on towards the square. Richardson, can he get back? The kick's got too much carry. That's a mark. Right on the line. Matthew Richardson. Down to 11 seconds before three-quarter time. Look at that angle. He runs around. The clock is running. Throws it on the left. Boot. That's a miraculous goal. His fourth. And that look says it all. They put him in against Mike Tyson right about now. How many players in the league would have actually made ground here, Dennis? You can see Gale's kick and Richardson at six foot six. Made up about 15 metres on that kick. And this was a superb snapshot. He keeps coming up with the answers. Well. I think within two years, he'll be the biggest name in the game. Alessio. Masiti. There's only seconds to go. There's the siren. We're in for a fantastic last term. At three-quarter time, the Bombers lead. 15-7-97. Tigers 12-10-82. Great quarter, that one. Essendon held the two goals, Richmond got five, but their spirit, something else again, and no doubt he would be buoyed by that. They were very flat in the second quarter, the game was slipping away. We saw five goals in the space of eight minutes, kicked by Essendon, but somehow Richmond have gone away as they did in halftime in the second semi-final, steeled themselves, and have come again. So the stage is set for Richmond, still to have a chance in this final term. They trail 15-7 to 12-10. Start of the final term at the MCG. Richmond right back in this, down by 15 points after they trailed by 33 at half time. Momentum certainly shifted in that third quarter. So away we go, everything to play for. Dia knocks it down, Daffy. Kick was smothered. Somerville got a hand to it. It spills wide. Broderick has been very good. Was it a push in the back? Yes, it was. Edwards will get the free. And he's only 30 metres out on a slight angle. A great, great piece of anticipation for Edwards. He got off the blocks very, very quickly. Uh, the Fletcher's forward momentum carried him into the back there of Edwards. And rightfully so, the free kick was there, rewarding the man in front. So, very big kick this one. Started the game. Has spent most of the day on the bench. Stuart Edwards. Has got it. Just the start they wanted. And you now have to 
classify this as a bit of a roll. Uh, Richmond, after Michael Long kicked the first goal of the third quarter, Richmond have now kicked six to one and uh, really have been in control. Edwards at full forward, gave the focal point there from a good break from the centre bounce. Richmond will be keen to repeat that again now. Bombers led by 33 points at half time. They lead now by nine. Knights. Paddles the ball forward, Richardson's booted, four goals. Gets the free kick. Kicks long, Edwards uh, is his target, so is Gale. Well over that critical moment, Edwards with a quick snap. Over the top was Knights. Rogers can't keep the ball in. And a boundary thrown some 30 metres around from the Tigers' goal. Burke early in the game took a mark that even Gary Ablett will have uh, difficulty in emulating this year. Hardwick, quick kick back towards Richardson. O'Connor now has the task of trying to curb the, the Tiger star. Kicks the ball back. This could favour the Bombers. Heard. He's got plenty to beat. Does well. Put his body on the line. Ball up inside the centre square. Very well taken there by James. A, a great example for young players in that he turned his body just before taking the ball, protected it so that he had his shoulder only exposed to the opposition coming through. Dia, he's done very well. He's, uh, he's been a catalyst for getting the Tigers back with his ruck work. Denham, back to Hardwick. Kicks inside, 50. The Bombers need a goal, a steadying goal. Heard puts his head down, caught by three Richmond players. Very unlucky not to get the free kick. Yes, the, the new rule, Kevin, is that once you tackle, you have to dispose of it either by foot or by handball. And that occasion didn't occur. Callaway has had the job on James Heard, kicks towards the boundary line and bounces it for touch. Sean Denham coming off a great season last year, started the day on the bench. Finished fourth in the Bombers' best and fairest last year. Scott Cummings has bitted six goals this afternoon. Matthew Richardson's got four. And Bond off on a stretcher. Well, he could have come off onto his own steam in the previous term. The clock is running on him. He can come back after 20 as long. Spears it towards Wanganeen. Controls the bouncing ball brilliantly. And has missed the goal. Or is he going to get a free for a push in the back? I think he is. May come back to Gavin Wanganeen, only 25 metres out directly in front. And suddenly the realisation hits the Tiger fans, and they're not amused. Also, Dennis uh, Bond has just come back onto the ground. Sullivan has been taken off, so Chris Bond has served his 20 minutes. Gavin Wanganeen gets a steadying goal for the Bombers. been strong in defence, so Sheedy in this last term has moved his Brownlow medalist up forward. And I think that's a good move. I think uh, the skills of Gavin Wanganeen across half forward are very, very hard for any opposition side to, to counter. Jamie Tape is his opponent and uh, just Tape's over-exuberance then gave the free kick after the uh, missed opportunity from Wanganeen for him to have a second shot. Wanganeen, 13 possessions, 4 marks and a very important goal. Prior, make that Mercedes caught by Knights. Well, there was a lot of discussion whether the Tigers would have that same spirit under Robert Walls as they had under John Northey last year. Well, I think that's been answered today. They've shown tremendous fight and spirit in coming back into this game. O'Donnell, quick kick, the skipper backing backs Callaway, took courage. Been a good duel, heard on top early. Callaway fighting his way back like most Richmond players. Neil comes away from defence, kicks up where Richardson couldn't take it on the second grab, but will take the free kick. And O'Connor and Charles having a wrestle on the wing. Plenty of feeling in this game. Richardson with four goals, two in the first term, two in the third. Kicks long. 
Gale Territory in front, punched away by Harvey, who was outstanding in the third turn. O'Donnell took plenty of time to hand pass it on. Hardwick being caught, holding the man. Got a touch of the cramp. Feeds it off to Pryor. He's got a loose man, Alessio. The kick had too much carry on it. Charles. It's also was good in the third term. Several telling marks across half back. Gale. Michael Gale. Kicks inside 50. He's looking for his brother in Benny Gale. Was there a push in the back? Edwards has marked it behind the pack. <laughs> I thought Gale got one in the back as well. But Stewie Edwards has read it better than anyone. It's an amazing contest for Richmond. All the size there. They have Gale, they have Richardson. And this man stayed down. Well, he kicked that important goal at the start of this final turn. Jimmy kicks the ball pretty high. This is off target. So the margin is 14 points. Still plenty of time. Come back from the dead. Michael Pryor taking his time on what is a terrific day for footy here in Melbourne. Couldn't be any better. The bomber's being tested. Pryor goes in short. Mercedi had to stretch. It's 21st possession coming up. Joe Mercedi short. Harvey. Off a step goes short towards the middle. O'Connor, so they've worked it out nicely. Hardwick seems to be okay after that attack of cramp. Goes towards right half forward and hills. Quickly away. Danaher wants his left side and gets it. Gets through the tackle there. Rogers couldn't pin him. Cummings, who's got six, takes a very good grab. That was strong. Very good mark on that occasion. Led hard and uh, meet, met the ball as early as he possibly could. Very good confidence mark for the boy. I thought he might have dropped in confidence after having his number taken during the third quarter. But to really displayed aggression at the ball on that occasion. Well, the problem was back up the ground. It was a dummy you couldn't buy back towards the middle off Danaher. You had to force him to his right foot. And Rogers made the mistake. Cummings for his seventh. Pretty tight angle. Slides across the face of behind. Six goals, all came in the first half. Essendon a purple patch. Five goals in eight minutes. Midway through the second turn. Bombers by 15 points. Charles in front. Punched away by Somerville. Ground level, bang! Oh. Simons went in very hard. Callaway with eyes on the ball. Ball up 40 metres out from the Bombers' goal. Bondi was up quickly anyway. Not the stretcher again, he's thinking. <laughs> Got to get up. Dear, down to Gale. Quick snap, a quick kick out of the pack. Richardson with pace. That's great work by O'Connor. Did well to match him. Richardson oh, pace oh, again. No. We might see him at stall at Easter. The ball runs over. I think he's getting a kick. He is too. Very good work. Yeah, having, having the courage to be able to take O'Connor on with pace and when, when he had the superior uh, the leg speed, O'Connor was only left to give away that free kick with that push in the back. 65 metres out. So he'll kick it to the front of the square. Gale's going to be his target. Got his hands on the ball. The Sharon just couldn't stick. And off hands for a point. Benny Gale's kicked two goals today. One in the first quarter, one in the second term. Try to bring the ball back for the Bombers. Got a loose player in Danaher. Yes, and we're dominant midfield in that first half. The Tigers have clawed their way back. Just over 13 minutes to go. The margin 14 points. 
Miranda and Long jousting off the ball. Meantime, Somerville and Deer joust after it. Broderick superbly done. Prescott centering kick. It favours Edwards in flight. He goes back. Well done by Fletcher. Angles the punch away. Hills leads in the race on the outer side. Lacking support. Two Tigers fell over. And a free kick, I think, is going to Hills. It's rather clumsy by Richmond there. They have the numbers. Watch it again. No need for that. So Hills has this ball at right half back. The margin was 33 points at half time. Nice hand pass by the umpire too. Very carry. nicely done, yes. Is he a lefty or obviously both sides of the body? Ball down towards half forward. Backing out is Bond. Hardwick got him. Spills to Nash. Prods it towards the wing. Over the head though of Gale, so Hills settles, untidy hand pass given the circumstances, Thompson confronted, knocked down there by Rogers, O'Donnell comes again, Danaher, little looper, Mercedes back to him, Danaher runs through the middle, kicks to half forward, ill-directed Kellaway, Wanganin just missed him, Kellaway's got the ball at centre half back, plays on immediately, Tape who's been terrific, into the path now of the running Neal, Long tries to flick it back, that was good, Cummings forward at the wing, a long way from goal as you can see, down towards the 50, spills off hands, controlled very well by Alessio, into the path there of Denham, upended, two men, one of whom, Simons, marks it, runs into an open goal. Wanganin was free as well. That's a big one. First goal to Simons. So Sheedy has changed the structure of his forward line with Wanganin down there and Simons who can actually take a big mark as well. But that was a better play by the Bombers. So the balance was all for Tours in the first quarter and we got success from that. But when Richmond came back, uh, the, the Essendon forward line wasn't functioning as well. So Ryan O'Connor has gone back to centre half back and Simons and Wanganin into the forward line to give them a better balance of bigs and smalls. Somerville versus Deer. Somerville wins it, Daffy, Sharks at quick kick, inside 50 for the Tigers. Richardson set himself in front, Danaher, manhandled by Gale, O'Donnell with quick hands. Chance for Richardson, the pace, the agility, make that Daffy, gets it across to Miranda, centres the ball. Lack of talk, Danaher takes it for the Bombers. Harvey, it's been good today, the veteran, out in front. Hurd taken to ground. It was just uh, held on a bit too long, so advantage has been paid. Cummings in front, backing oh. back. Terrific mark by Charles. He's done that a number of times today. Tries to set it up through Knights. Got a bounce, gives it to Prescott. He's caught. Great tackle by Denham. Bomber Thompson back to Pryor. It's a high kick. Charles. Punched away from Alessio. Inside the centre square, Heard. Cool as a cucumber. Gives it across to Hardwick. Cummings all in the back. Play on, says the umpire. Tape. Gee. Goes short and finds Bond. Half back flank. The bomber supporters. They're booing. Up to Knights. Punched away by Denham. But Knights recovers well. Got a chance to go over the top. Edwards feeds it back to Knights. Gale gives the lead. The kick's a wobbly old one. And Donald takes the chest now. Donald. His first game as skipper. The sixth captain under Kevin Sheedy. He's in half back. Over the top to Harvey. Kept a cool head. Now Harvey comes away. There's a Richmond player down and hurt. Meantime, the ball goes towards half forward for the Bombers. Wanganin tries to soccer off the deck. Trying to control it is Simons. He was a bit stiff there. He was flailing away. Couldn't move the ball. And a whistle just outside the attacking 50. Harvey breaking away and just behind that Bauer went down very hard Alessio hooks it towards Calthorpe who can't keep it in so boundary throw in and now the clock is the enemy of the Tigers who trail by 20 points Dennis just that screen there we have a few boys really starting to feel the pinch uh, Wanganin a bit of a limp up there Jamie Tate his opponent with his hands on his knees it's a real testing time now. Alessio, cleverly done. Throws it on the boot. 
Martin floats to about 20 metres out. Loose ball. Simons appeared to be held. Still he goes. Simons gets the goal. That could decide it. His second of the term. Well, he'd be very happy with that, uh, Michael Simons. Two years ago was uh, known as a goal kicker at Windy Hill, but last year really lost his uh, accuracy, so to speak, and had a great degree of problems kicking goals and ended up in defence. But now in this crunch situation, has gone forward and has kicked two valuable goals. Somerville versus Deer once more. Knights, quick kick down towards Richardson. Prescott couldn't take control. O'Connor does well. Great vision finds Masiti. Smoke and Joe kicks long. Hurd showed fantastic oh. courage. Sensational. Strong eyes on the board from a champion. And he's marked 35 metres out. And Terry, oh. big smile we've on got, your face. We've got to see this on replay again. Look, eyes on the ball all the time. You don't know what's coming behind you, but if you're a Fairingham footballer like this man is, you pay no regard to that and keep your eyes on the ball, and that's going to be yours. And James Hurd. You really earned that one, fella. Yet to kick a goal today. Had a big duel with Duncan Calloway. So Heard drills it. And uh, you would think that that's the sign. That's the. The indicator that the Tigers are uh, the Bombers are home. Sorry, the Tigers gave it everything they had, but just these last four goals really have had a very significant influence on the game and stemmed the tide. So suddenly it's back out to 32 points, and the Tigers looking like a boxer who's punched himself out as Masidi comes out of the middle. Oh, a great grab by Charles. He's been inspired across half back. Hit the ground running, a second bounce, takes him out to right half back, he kicks towards the wing, Miranda goes back, juggles the mark, well done. Hardwick goes over the top, now did the umpire not play that mark? I thought so. Miranda, short to Dia. Dia, well, almost blindsided by Hardwick, couldn't see him coming. Daffy off the ground, into the shins of Thompson. Hardwick, Daffy over the top, will get a free kick. Man on the ground, Hardwick. So Essendon, you feel, if you the storm, Hardwick, very high kick towards the wing. Charles probably should have punched there. Waiting down in front was Calthorpe on his knees, Bond. He's probably gone into the history books anyway today. Oh, they commit to that pack. It spills to Burke. He's dragged down, almost had it too long. Daffy in the grasp, moves the ball inside the 50. Dropping back is Richardson. He's in the square by himself if they can get the ball to him. O'Connor's got different ideas. Comes out of the pack. Taken away by Danaher who turns 30 tomorrow. Running to celebrate with that kick though. He put it out of bounds on the full. About 75 metres from goal. O'Connor who was very good early. Bond. Richardson comes on the lead. Oh, great defence by Thompson. Last year's skipper. Gets back and dumps it out of bounds. The oldest man at Bomberland, talked into playing this year by Kevin Sheedy, was definite in his ideas. He was uh, retiring at the end of last year when the Bombers were beaten by the Tigers in the finals. But uh, couldn't say no to the coach's plea. Bond screws this back. Fletcher. Daffy's off for the Tigers and Sullivan is on. Gale on the marks, two goals. Fletcher's got Pryor loose wide, who's been very, very good. 20 possessions. And finds Masiti. 24 possessions. Dropped it. Gale, back to Broderick. Been one of the best for the Tigers. Kicked off the ground there by Mark Harvey. And he's been one of the best for the Bombers. Very steady across half-back seemingly always in control of his own play and of his teammates around him. Essendon led by 33 points at half time, now by 32 Sullivan who's just come on to replace Daffy. Wild kick out of bounds on the full.
19-8 to 13-12. Got to within 12 points from memory. It's Thompson. So it seems that Essendon will win by about as much as they led by at half time, despite all the efforts of Richmond. Thompson all the time in the world out of the back pocket around the outer side. Somerville heads for the boundary line with the fist. It's out of bounds. So throw in. Midway between left centre wing and left half forward for Richmond. Deer and Somerville. O'Donnell barking the instructions down behind. And I think the boundary umpire feeling the pinch. It wasn't a very good throw in and the ball knocked directly back across the line. Crowd of about... 50,000 or so. I think perhaps we came expecting a few more, but of course, so many good games on this weekend. It's a great opening round. Wide of the pack, Denham. In front of Knights, who's been disappointing. Got him that time. Prescott, aided by a good shepherd, comes away. Prescott pulls it back towards the middle. Bond's got the mark. He's taken some heavy knocks today, Bond. He goes towards half forward. Awkward half volley for Richardson. Oh, it bounced up obligingly at the end. Now Richardson, face to face with O'Connor, slips past him, smothered off the boot by O'Donnell, tape up the ground to Sullivan, Sullivan 35 metres out, pulls it, and sure it goes for a behind. And big Stewie Edwards, uh, or Justin Charles, it was, standing uh, about 15 metres out from goals with his arms in the air, signalling that maybe he thought Sullivan could have just dropped that one short to him. game for Michael Pryor. Been an excellent game, hasn't it? I mean, just four games in each of the last two years. He's really found his niche now. Beautiful kick to Hardwick. Now he's got plenty of space. He's had three bounces. He can run to 50. Four bounces. Short to Cummings. Has to take it on the half volley. It was a poor kick. Back to Harvey. Callaway kicked off the ground by Harvey. Bauer back off the interchange bench. Quick kick inside the square. Bond. Shrugs off the tackle. Gives it across here to Miranda. Goes short. And Nash marks. Kicks long time running out for the Tigers. And it's a free kick to Richardson, was it? Or was he held? No. They're getting it the other way. O'Connor against Charles. I think Richardson felt that he was uh, manhandled as well. Ryan O'Connor, two goals in the first half. Moved on to Richardson, young Berbikoff had that job early in the game. It was a big ask and a strong mark by Wanganen. Kicked that important goal in the last turn when Shooty moved him forward. It's a one-on-one -on -one contest and a free oh. kick goes to Callaway. Well, take your pick. Chance at the back of the pack, Richardson. It's just been fantastic. Look at this for a snapshot by Richardson. Sensational. That's goal number five. And certainly one of the best players on the ground here today. He's been the, the focal point for them. Whenever they wanted someone to take hold of something, it's been Richardson. And the, the Tigers have displayed much today. There's, there's much to like about their game because this has been a very high standard contest right throughout. Uh, the Bombers looking strong and aggressive. Tigers coming at each opportunity. Matthew Richardson five, Scott Cummings six. Cummings goals coming in the first half. Miranda's off the ground, Mercedes. He's got the ball out of the middle a lot today. Bullis with courage. Left it behind though. Simons has done well on the forward line in this last quarter. Under the legs of Tate, but ricochets across towards Kellaway. Kellaway shrugs a tackle, comes away. Releases Naish up towards half back. Naish kicking towards half forward. Charles couldn't hang on. O'Connor with strength. Put Broderick down and had the composure to find the ball to Denham. Chips it in towards half forward. Denneher. Wave there going after it. It spills to Nash again. Swings it out wide. Haven't seen enough of this man. Knights from 75. Goes long. Taylor made for Richardson. And he's marked at 10 metres out. Well, 
foul. Fletcher never had a chance. Earlier in the game, I made the comment, Dennis, that I reckon within two years he'd be the biggest name in the game, and you sort of a bit of a smile. Not oh, quite no, certain no, whether no. you agreed or not. No, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Going at goal number six right here. Oh, sneaks it in. It's great to see him back and playing so well. Well, he really is the, the player that they probably missed most last year without uh, any shadow of doubt in that. Prior to the knee injury, he'd kick bags of six, five, and he'd kick four goals twice leading up to that round nine injury and uh, then had to sit in the grandstand and watch his side make a rush towards the, the finals. This year he's out there and he's stepped up in his first game for the season in uh, no uncertain terms that he's going to make a difference. Six goals to Richardson, six goals to Cummings. So both uh, key forwards doing well. Masiti, be pleased with his game today. Last year a little bit disappointing. And Burke, who probably took the mark of the year oh, today. Already. Already. Out wide to Broderick. Half back flank. He's got a lot of possessions for the Tigers. Finds Deer. Back to Burke. To high ball. Richardson in front. He's going to take it. Well, he's going for number seven now, Terry, so we might have to get out a few more <laughs> words to describe his performance. They won't go away, the Tigers, will they? Well, at half time, we mentioned that 33 points down, and then they had that tremendous third term when they got within a couple of goals. So they've shown tremendous spirit, and that was asked of the, of the side when Robert Walls took over whether they could still have that same spirit that they had under John Northey. I think they have. Richardson, 45 metres out. The kick is off target, through for a point. So the margin is 18 points. Just checking some figures. They got to within nine points early in this term. Full credit to Essendon, though, when challenged. They were made of the right stuff. Here's Hardwick in the dying seconds. He's feeling the effects. Had cramp about ten minutes ago. Fletcher has run on. Puts around Naish. Still he goes. Hill stood up in the tackle. Feeds it back. Masiti coming through strongly. Daffy couldn't control it. Taken away by Pryor, who's been very good. Boots it down towards Harford. Wanganin's over the ball now. The Tigers will bring it away. Tate, the best defender. The second bounce. Sends Richmond forward down towards the 50. Ill-directed, though. Richardson outnumbered four against one. Alessio the crumbs. An unlikely roll. Grabbed. O'Donnell taking his time. A basketball team running down the clock. It comes towards Thompson. Awkward bounce. Callaway slipped over. There's the siren. And Essendon win this one after their trials and battles with Richmond last year. They've come out five goals and eight minutes in the second to really set this game up. Richmond came back at them. As I said, got so close. Less than two goals away early in this last quarter. But Essendon then put the foot on the accelerator. Spate of goals. Simons up forward with a couple of quick ones. Wanganin got one as well. Heard a big goal. And Richmond give them their due as soon as Essendon eased again as Kevin Sheedy comes down, starting his 16th season with a victory. Seen all this before. Nothing new for that man. But Richmond, as soon as they sensed there was a chance, they just kept on coming. Got a few players to come back. We talked about running the midfield. Well, they didn't have that today. They lost in the centre square. Campbell would help. Probably Tony Free as well, although they tend to use him more in defence these days. I think also for Essendon and Dennis that uh, Buick, Cockatoo, Collins and McCurry, three of their better yeah. medium-sized players. So the Bombers have got a lot to look forward to as well with some star players on the boundary line. And Jay Cockatoo, Collins uh, starred in the reserves uh, today as well with Barry Young. So uh, I think both sides would be pretty happy. Tigers disappointed they didn't get the four points, but I think they showed today that they're going to be one of the best sides. Yes, yeah, so Essendon win it, 19-8 to 15-14.
Cummings, six goals. Matthew Richardson, six goals. Great game of footy.